Welcome, welcome to the fourth episode of Late Night Sessions with BB. And today is a special day. Uh, today uh, we have a special guest, a person who's been buzzing around in the streets of New York. And uh, you know, anytime anyone buzzes, uh, it calls our attention. We want to bring them in. Uh, Boo Boo, Boo Boo 35. Uh, welcome. Welcome, Boo. I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate thank you. Thank you to your management um, and everyone who made this possible because I know we've been uh, a little hectic on both ends. And uh, thank you. Thank you for your time and we appreciate having you here today. So, welcome. Welcome, Boo. Gracias, gracias, bonito. Primeramente, te quiero, le quiero agradecer a Dios por darme la oportunidad de estar aquí hoy. And te quiero gracias a ti por making the effort of inviting me over. Aquí, and estamos aquí. It's what, it's what we do. me here, you know. So what we do is we, and, and Boo and talk to us a, a little bit about, about your music. We seen that you just dropped uh, two songs actually. Because you have that guy una 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 que se llama Percocet. Correct me if I'm wrong. Percocet. Yeah, yeah. you dropped that one in August. Correct. September. Actually. September. September. And, 3rd. And, but then in August you had dropped you, you dropped two songs back to back. Back to back. I yeah. saw that. I saw that. Yeah. What was the one you dropped in August? The when I dropped in August, I dropped Percocet in September. Okay. It was a little this, <laughs> man. Then I dropped Attack. Attack was it, it was both hey, singles. Uh -huh, okay, uh, at the beginning of September, around there. It was Percocet dropped September third. At Attack dropped, I think after the seventeenth. See, see, it was right there. The shit shows was, that, yeah. that. It was like you, you three weeks. Shows, After, yeah. Shows, we also seen that uh, last week we was uh, doing the video. La, la Pampara. La Pampara. Yeah. Talk to us a little about, that, about La Pampara. That's a, that's a new single I have coming out. It's coming soon. We're thinking about dropping. We had the video session. Was, everything's perfect. We're coming with that video. It might drop. I say by December 1st, we'll have everything ready. It will drop, yeah. Ibu, um, you know, here at, at, at Late Night Session with Vivi, we like to, to do things a little. She's an author that. Um, and we like to start from the roots. Uh, we like to get to know people. And we want to know um, who's Boo Boo 35. And where does Boo Boo 35 begin his, his initial career? <laughs> I like that question, uh, dude. For music. You know, I, like I got to get to the roots of it. Boo Boo Chama Kito Mende. Es un tipo humilde, sencillo. ¿Dónde se cría, ¿Dónde se cría? Yo nací en Nueva York, yo nací en St. Luke's on 54th. Oh, Manhattan. Yeah. Okay, dope, dope. Shout I'm a Harlem baby, I'm a Harlem baby. Shout out to everybody from Manhattan. Hall, Hall, Harlem, Harlem baby, 135th and Broadway. Okay, okay. Este, nah, I was born here. You went to school here? In, I, uh, I went to school here, yeah. Nice, nice. Um, Parents. No. Parents Dominican. Dominican, okay. De la okay, Vega, okay. son veganos. Oh, so, yeah. so, si va en ellos. Yeah. Ustedes son de Isidio. They see you. They see you. They, they see you. <laughs> este, nah, at the age of six, my father yes, tiene yeah. que irse a Santo Domingo. Me mandan para Santo... Bueno, me fui con mi mamá. Mi mamá decidió irse a vivir allá. Okay, okay. So when she moves out there, I go with her. I start going to school in Dior. Nice. So but, you going to school throughout your 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 teenage or you? No no no. Yo estaba yo estaba en el sitio. Tenía te estoy hablando ya a los siete años. Oh, okay, so we still young. Yeah. We still young. We in DR. We live. So we go to school. I start going to school out there by the age of thirteen. Yo estoy jugando pelota. I was a baseball. Crazy. I was nice in baseball. You, you know what's crazy? Um, uh, how old are you? How old are you? Me, I'm twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. Wow. I'm twenty one. Wow. Man. You're 21, but in, 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 in people from, from my era, I don't want to say my era, but <laughs> I'm kind of a little old. I feel like a little old 30. Um, we all start playing baseball, and then we end up doing music. See, Gary and I were talking about that. We always talk about this every time. <laughs> now, every, everyone from our era like started doing baseball with us, and all of a sudden, we all bump heads in, in studio. It, it, last week, we had a guest who, who, who we, we knew because we were playing baseball, so... Talk to us a little about that. So you was a, uh, a baseball player. So I started playing baseball in DR. Yo tengo 13 años. Cuando todos los 13 años me llevan por una academia en la capital. Because you was good. Yeah. Oh, also, you. Saw I'm not gonna say I was good, but I had the talent. I had the potential. Once family thinks about putting you in academy, in academy that means that you another you, level. You up to something. So cuando me mandan a la academia, yo tengo dos semanas en la academia, manito. Y baseball is not really what people. No es lo que la gente piensa. It's tough. La pelota se pasa a trabajo, it's manito. An animal. It's an animal. Yo me levantaba a las 5 de la mañana su yeah. baseball field, bro. And daba a la 1 de la tarde y yo no había comido mierda. Mm. Yo no había comido nada. ¿Tú me entiendes? Entonces, yo no comí nada. 
básicamente yo, yo siempre fui hijo de papi y mami. Después, después, el jugar pelota no, 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 es, no es un deporte que, que... No es fácil, ¿tú no me es, entiendes? No es fácil. So, nada, yo me escapé de la academia, actually. Me fui, agarré un día, me quedaban... Oye, me acuerdo que mi papá me mandó con dos mil pesos. <risa> ¿A jugar pelota? Sí, me mandó con dos mil pesos a jugar pelota y yo agarré... Y... Y con 500 que me quedaban, no, cogí el pasaje y me fui para no, Nagua. No, no. Yo soy de Nagua ya del factor. Y no, a, a para día. Cuando arranco para Nagua, le digo a... Llego a la casa ese día, cogí el bus, me acuerdo. <risa> si te cogiste, te, no fuiste a la pelota. No, me y, capé, y, bro. Y te llevaste los 2.000 pesos. Me llevé los 2.000 pesos no. y me capé. Y llego yo a mi casa y dice la mamá, mami, ¿qué tú haces aquí? Y yo, Mami, me botaron del programa. Me botaron. Y, y, y sin, sin los cuartos, me botaron. La mamá mía siempre fue... Sí, sí. La, la mamá mía siempre ha sido apoyadora. Oh, no. Ay, mío, ¿qué no pasé, André? Nah, yo, 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 sí, nah. mami, decía, okay, pero yo tengo 1.500 clavados todavía. <risa> no. Y yo, mierda. Llego, digo yo, estos 1.500 yo me los voy a beber. Me metí a la discoteca, compré... Un, me acuerdo yo como ahora una etiqueta negra, compré. Bebe, romo, bebe, romo. Normal. Pero no pasó nada, pero... En ese proceso, yo cumplo los 14 años y me mandan para atrás para Nueva York a estudiar. ¿Y te, te mandan para atrás diciendo por qué? Eh, por la dije, pelota. O entonces ahora tú estás buscando una carrera ya mejor aquí. Aquí. Ok. So okay. el go okay. era estudiar, hacer la high school aquí, uh -huh. pasar a la universidad. Que siempre es más Y de ahí que fuera lo que Dios quiera, ¿tú me entiendes? Entonces, en el proceso que yo vengo a Nueva York, eh, me acuerdo yo que todavía yo estaba en eh, Moscú, Abusen. They gave me a, a full scholarship to St. Raymond's. To, to play baseball? To play baseball. From DR? No, no, no. I came here for the summer, I remember. Okay. In the summer, the, yo todavía estaba jodiendo. I used to play in Riverbank. Oh, oh, oh hey, Riverbank, dope. Yeah. I used to play Riverbank, From too. there, I met, a, uh, I met a couple of people. Me dieron a full scholarship to St. Raymond's High School. Okay. A really good school, by the way. But the problem with me was que yo cuando chamaquito, yo fui bien cabezadura, ¿tú me entiendes? Sí, todo fue. Que la ganga, que esto, que, que, que en coro, que, que... ¿Me entiendes? Yo me llevé de lo malo coro. Mm. You know, so... Me dieron el full scholarship. I had to leave back to Dio. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm still 14. Okay, okay. Age of 15, empiezo a tener muchachos. Okay. Oh, I, I told you, oh, so you, you, you became a father at an early age. At the age of 15. Okay. When I turned 15, I had my first child. You yeah. know, that's a blessing, man. That's it a is, blessing. Is, you, you're able is. to enjoy your kid at a young age. And even when, when later on, when, when you, you, you consider yourself to be a little older... You'll be old enough to, to party with, with your kid. And party with my still, kids, go out. Yeah, it's going to be nice. It's going to be a nice Hopefully trip. meet their friends from college. That's, a, see, that's, <laughs> that's something that that that, that uh, maybe not the average uh, fan uh, knows about you. Yeah. That, that you know, you're a yeah, young I have, father. I have three kids, man. You're, you're, oh, you have three kids? I have three kids. Oh, well, you've been blessed. You've been really God, blessed, yeah. man. Wow. So how, how do you manage uh, uh, your personal life? Uh, and, and the music could not to stay away from from your beginnings but this is a really good interest personal so, life I work hard it's work, you gotta work hard I work no hard. after I came to New York it, it was hard for me mm. like, I had a good job I already had my kids I had I had two kids when I came from DR nice. I had my third one here and I came from DR I had a nice job in a hotel oh, a lot of bullshit cool started kids. happening yeah. I got fired in the process of me getting fired I, I went through a lot of shit mm. Okay. Yo me acuerdo que tenía un cuartico rentado ahí en la 116 en Grand Congress. Me botaron del cuarto. Yeah, we got a little fly money around here. Me botan del cuarto, no me botan del cuarto, bro. I, I struggle so much that I've learned a lot from my mistakes. Tú me entiendes, todo sido por mi mala cabeza. Tú me entiendes, mm -hmm. so, hay cosas que yo he hecho en el pasado que ya yo las tomo como un ejemplo en el futuro. Tú me entiendes. Wow. So, I've struggled a lot, bro. You know, Boo, if you keep that attitude, um, I see a big, uh, bright future ahead of you. Um, because those are words of, of someone who's been polished. That's pretty cool, man. And talk to us uh, a, a little bit about uh, how you got started in New York. So the way I got started in New York was, ya, ya yo había hecho canciones en Santo Domingo. Okay. I did about, about three, four songs, pero I never took music serious. Like, la música para mí era un relajo. Okay. Este, yo la cogía como una chelcha. <laughs> El Fecho hizo una competen un concurso. Yo conozco el Fecho. ¿Quién es el Fecho? El Fecho troteado. Artist, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo ya no lo el Fecho. El Fecho hace un concurso que de un flow pesado como Floyd My Weather. Okay. Él hace un concurso y él sube un video diciendo el que mejor... Él sube el instrumental y él dice el que le haga el mejor verso a ti instrumental lo voy a poner en el official no, remix. Ok. So, at this point, you're not an artist. I am an artist, but I'm not... 
you, doing you, anything. Do you just you hiding your word? Yeah, I'm just, just off it. Yeah, okay. So, yo tengo una amiga, you lazy, the esposa de un amigo mío, Frank, me dice, coño, pero tú sabes rapear. Mm. Montate en esta vaina, hazte un video y sube lo que nadie sabe. Siempre hay alguien, siempre hay alguien que inicia que te, 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 Sí, yeah. eso está bien. So, cuando yo me hice el video, digo, mierda, está todo. We was in Queens. Mm. Actually, I remember, we was, we was in a Burger King. Okay. Okay. Y le digo yo, no, you lazy, tú sabes que yo estoy quitado de la música, yo no. Know? Me dice, no, 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 pero vamos a hacerlo. Oh, me pone el instrumental. Cuando pon, me pone el instrumental, la fila me dice. In, in a Burger King. In a Burger King. Inside or in a car? No, we was in the car. Okay, okay. We was so we're talking about flipping right I'm now. I'm like, damn, I'm feeling this pimping. beat. Okay. So I tell her, give me 30 minutes. They drive. A man was driving, Frank. So while he's driving, yo estoy escribiendo, 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 escribiendo. Pam, llegamos al bloque mío, lo nutre sin bro. Le digo yo, estoy ready. Saca el teléfono, vamos a grabar. Cuando graba, oh, yo monto el verso mío, hago un video, pum, el fecho lo sube. Tell me later. But you wasn't waiting for this. But I was not expecting, I just did it as a joke. Es relajando. El fecho lo sube, yo de, 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 de 200 seguidores que tenía, subo 4,000. Everybody hitting me up. Mierda, te pasaste. Esto, que tú estás duro. Yo qué, hola, mierda, pero yo no, yo no me esperaba tú este, 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 esta bulla, tú me entiendes. So you had 200 people. 200 followers on Instagram. At this, so you put a post. A post. He shared it. He shared it. And I go up to 4,000 something. Wow. That's, that's instant love right there. That goes Bro. to show um, your work. Everybody started hitting me up. Yo, te pasaste, manito. Que from now on, I'm gonna start listening to your music, etc., etc. I was like, oh, like, damn, but I'm, I don't really take this to the heart. Like, I'm just doing it for a joke. So then, musicologos concurso goes on. The, the, um, Enfilita, Maranja. Cooperando. Okay, okay, okay. Enfilita. I know you did a few, a few of them, but I don't know. I okay. my verse to Enfilita. Mm -hmm. Everybody shares the Bob Musicologo. When you say everybody shares it. O sea, all the fans. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, 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 okay. Nah, no subió el video. El verso estaba duro. Mm. Pero tú sabes, hay, hay cosas, hay niveles no, que hay que respetar, cool. tú me entiendes? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, a lot of people started hitting me up after that. Oh, ponte a hacer música, ponte a hacer música, ponte a hacer música. So, yo empecé a hacer, every week I used to post a freestyle. Mm. Yo subía un Spanish version of a... Yo subía un ejemplo... La, me acuerdo que todavía que la primera canción que subí fue Murder on My Mind. So every Friday you would do this? Yeah. Thing? Okay. No, nah, it wasn't Friday. It was like, it was on the weekend. weekend. I don't okay, remember okay. what day exactly. It was Saturday Sunday. Pero, I still remember that my first song that I posted starting after that was Murder on My Mind. I did a Spanish version of Murder on My Mind. Okay. Todo el mundo compartiendo. Uh, todo el mundo volviéndose loco. So my boy AR hit me up. Okay. That was, that was my, he, he's my co-manager. He hits me up, he's like, yo, what's up? Like, I like your music, whatever, I'm willing to work with you. I met him, we sit in the car, we're sitting in the car, prendo la música, I start freestyling, his boy Mario likes it. They, that's when they introduced me to the Weekend Warriors. Okay, 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 we're getting somewhere. So, okay. when they introduced me to the Weekend Warriors, everybody's cool, I mean, I mean, all the, they got a lot of DJs, they got a lot of promoters, they got, a, they got graphic designers, they got video producers, they got music producers, they got artists. So, off the buzz of uh, a person reposting you, um, we now landed... I got to there he is. Okay. okay. So, in that process, at the... Llego a conocer a Tali en persona, see a couple of famous artists. So you got to skip the line. Yeah. You got to skip the but line. But at that point, Boo Boo no era, no era Boo Boo. Because you, you have Boo not un, identified yourself. Boo Boo era un personaje. Boo Boo oh. era Imagine Boo. I was hiding my face. ¿Cómo tú te llamabas antes? No, antes me decían el flaco. O oh, el flaco, el flaco. Because okay. I was skinny. Okay, okay. Then, then, estamos gorditos y... This is just me. But Boo Boo, nobody knew who was Boo Boo. Okay. Like I used to sit next to people and they would play my song. And they'll be like, yo, this nigga's going hard, this nigga's bugging, this nigga's going raw. Oh, and todo el mundo, todo el mundo dando different opinions. And I'm over here sitting in the studio like, yeah, that nigga's bugging, bro. Mm. That nigga's wild. And then, I'll be, they, then they heard Percocet. When Percocet dropped, they're like, damn. Like, why this nigga's bugging out on people? Okay. Like, I'm like, yeah, he bugging. He should, I don't know what's up with him. You feel me? But nobody knew who I really was after yeah. I started showing my face. Did, did you... Could, I, I see why people gravitate towards you. Um, you you have this 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 kind of fast AK forty seven kind of flow. I'm gonna hit you kind of <laughs> hard, and you're gonna listen to what I say, and you gravitate people's attention right away. Um, how did you get started uh, with that? Cause 
I, I know you say you, you, you kind of just got started not too long, but it, you, you don't learn that overnight. That's I'm a little confused. So when I started, I had two people who inspired me to do music. Okay. Who, who are you? Your, your, your... Relampago la Menaza and Tali. Okay. I still say it wherever I go. I still say it. Relampago. Relampago and Talia, two pick up, two people Crazy. that whatever after whatever they've been through, I don't you know whatever situation it is, I respect the music wise. Mm, they're really good. Like I look at them as as inspiration. Tú me entiendes? Mm. Relampago after the shit went through Tali after todo su baja cantado and he's still at his. Tú me entiendes? So after I remember when I started doing trap trap. It was Relampago and Tali song. It was Barra. Okay. Yo no hago maleta ni tampoco te hago bulto. Si tú hablas de mi coro, lo cojo como un insulto. Now that you say that, yeah, perdón, perdón, que te corte. You do, you do have like that. Connection. Yeah, I see that it. Makes. I see it. I see it. Um, you do sound aggressive. Um, I don't, I don't copy flows. Yeah, no. It's, but I just like the, the, the. The... Very incorporated. It's very unique. Yeah. Um, you, you, you took something and you... A mí me gusta la cotorra doble sentido. Okay, exactly. There you go. A mí me, yo siento, me siento y escucho a tal y tú escuchas la cotorra doble sentido que él tiene. Y eso me inspira Don't. a crear mi propia versión de, de, de mí mismo, okay. no de otra persona. ¿Tú me entiendes? So I can't say I'm, I'm copying somebody, but I inspire myself to be somebody alike. Nice, nice. Like role model, that's the word. Understood. Understood. Yeah. What, 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 what should we expect from, uh, from Bubu at uh, closing the year? It's around the año. Closing ya, the ya year. Estamos, ya no faltan dos meses. Tú me entiendes. Para cerrar el año, ¿qué vamos a hacer con Bubu? Closing the year. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con Bubu? Bubu's coming hard. I, I, bro, uh, you, you caught our attention. I was like, like, Sicario and I, we always <laughs> speak. And and one of the things was like, yo, let's try to talk to Boo <laughs> let's pick his brain. Let's see what's going on here because the guy's doing something. I'm going to be honest with you, yeah, baby. Talk, 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 I'm yeah. scared of Boo Boo myself, bro. <laughs> we heard some stuff. You I'm us scared of Boo Boo myself, we, man. Before the show started, and, and what we what, what you showed us sounds sound good. I'm scared of Boo Boo myself. So. so what can we expect for it? Towards the, towards the end of this so. year, are you going to drop anything else? We're working hard. We're working hard. We got at least... Tenemos por lo menos 15 temas ya grabado. Mm, vimos par de featuring. Sí. We follow you. And if it's Los featuring son... Sí. Secreto. We sí. got a couple sí. surprise Vimos featuring eso. coming. But that people know of. Tengo, tengo, tengo un featuring que viene con Nelly Nels. Uh, tengo Nelly. un Brasilera con uh, Nelly Nels y Jan Jan. Oh, Jan oh, Jan es de los míos también. Yeah, we got Jan. a Brasilera and Joan Forty. Um, I, got, I got something coming with Chamo. Chamo, Chamo de los míos también. Tengo un tema con Relámpago la Amenaza. Y no voy a mencionar más nombres, okay. pero vienen par de, know, vienen no. par de featuring so, sorpresa que... So, are, are, we, are we expecting an EP or an album, Morphe? Because it sounds already like an EP. So, right I still got a couple singles to drop. Oh, so we are anticipating something. Yeah, we're working on an EP. Okay. But this okay. EP is going to be all featurings. So, so we're looking at next year? Let's say starting 20, 2020. Oh. Beginning February, Careful, I said. Don't, don't make these allegations. <laughs> this is for the record. This will stay on the record, you know? Uh, right. ready. But we, 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 we want to see something. We, uh, we can't wait to see that. Nah, we're coming with a couple it, hard it features. Sounds good. It sounds good. And, 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 and Boo, uh, talk to us a little bit about, about your management. My management? Lo primero que yo tengo que decir que estoy agradecido en el alma okay, okay. por la ayuda que me han ofrecido cuando yo menos lo esperaba. ¿Tú me entiendes? Mm, nice. Like, I was going through a rough situation mm. in my career. Everybody let me down. Okay. Cuando yo más necesitaba a la persona, me dieron la espalda, mm, A mí todo el mundo se me dobló, bro. Sí. Vamos a darle un traguito a ese hombre, por favor. When I was going through, when I was going through my, through my ups and downs, lost my job. Go, go. I was going through a little rough situation. The things that happen when you least expect it. You can see, you see, it's live, it's live. La cosa que pasa cuando tú menos le esperas son las que mejores suceden. Eso es así, eso es así. Bro, I was never expecting to meet Picante again. Mm. I was never expecting to meet Memo. Okay. How everything started was, I have the Picante tattoo. So, you had a Picante tattoo before meeting? Before meeting them. No. <laughs> this is how everything started. So, so how, 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 you, how you got a hold of who's Picante? 
Actually, I, had, I even had a friend that told me, oh, you picante game? Like, who the fuck is picante game? Mm. I'm like, I know no picante game. What is that? I was never expecting that, so... I, there was this, my boy, Juice, is also picante game. I used to see him all the time. I thought he was the owner of picante game because I used to always see the label in his car. Okay. And every time I used to see this nigga, I wasn't showing my face. Mm. So not even he knew what my face looked like. Remember, my manager knew what looked what my face like. So at that point, I see juice everywhere, okay. and I just stick my arm out the car with the picante guy. He's like, ah! so. But he don't know what, pic- <laughs> what, what Boo Boo looks like. Mm. So, oh, so they like Boo Boo the artist, but they didn't know who Boo Boo looked like. Boo Boo never showed his face. Boo Boo wasn't on the media. Oh, feel me? Boo was just somebody that came out of nowhere and started rapping, and going hard without mm. showing who he was. ¿Me entiende? So you look at that, creando un suspenso. Mm. Porque la gente se interesara en conocer más quién era Bubu. En ese entonces. Porque la para de la gente era, yo, who is he? Who is he? Yo tenía tigres seteándome que llamaban mujeres, llamo lo que frené <laughs> para el bloque. Mm. And I dejé el grocery me up, yo, what's up? I want to chill with you. Pull up to, to, pull up to this block. Es ok. Pero no, it was a whole setup. They just wanted to know what I look like. Mm. ¿Tú me entiendes? Porque Bubu está tirando a fulano, fulano, fulano y fulano. Pero nadie sabe cómo se ve Bubu. ¿Tú me entiendes? En la sorpresa de quién la da. Oh. So like, oh, so we don't catch him by surprise. We're going to know what he looks like. So let's set him up. And... No, exactly. So jumping back to it, jumping back to it, um, I hit him up. I tell him, like, yo, that, that guy you're working with, his music is nice. I like it. I want to I wanna jump in his song. So he tells me, as a matter of fact, I want you to jump in a song with the Magic and Ellie Nels. But... I'm not gonna lie, I was slacking. I was like, oh, yeah. Uh. yeah like, yeah. I wasn't sometime, really. Sometimes we need to gather or something. I wasn't interested in it. So he hit me up and he told me straight up, like, yo, bro, I don't know you like that, but I'm willing to work with you. I'm doing nice. it for the love, for the respect. If I was someone else, I would have just walked away and I'm willing to help you. Dope. So his words basically inspired me to jump back on the music because I had fell back down from the music for oh. what, the situation that I went through with The Weekend Warriors. Brother, we all go through it, man. Um, we all go through it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a last try. He picks me up. I remember we, we, we meet at 135th from Riverside. He sees my face. Oh, bro, go, everything was good vibes. Because the game was good vibes. Oh. First day I chilled with them, I loved them. Dope. So family. It's very important. Very important family. to surround yourself with. Like, when you surround people. yourself by people that make you feel comfortable in their presence, like, bro, I, I still pull up to treat my number. Everybody shows love. Yeah. You feel me? And that's things I like. So, things that makes me feel go back on my positive path. So, I so, go him up on the gill. I recorded a verse. What was it, like 15 minutes? Six minutes. I recorded my whole verse to the song with with, with Nelly Nelson and Magic six minutes. I recorded six minutes. I'm like, damn. Six minutes. Six minutes. A whole verse. An entire verse is six minutes. Six minutes. And I believe you. This is this is the thing that we see here in the studio, and I seen this guy at work, yeah. work, and I believe him. I believe him. So I look at the time. I'm like, uh, what? How much we got left? And they say fifty four minutes. Only like, fifty four minutes. Put this beat on. I want to record another song. He put another beat on. Other than that I recorded that whole song in 16 minutes. So on on average, is this is this, is this like some some like some kind of like? So I recorded three songs in an hour. But is is this is the rate that you do music? Not or, or really. Is, this is when you get get in your flow. So I have different ways of making music. Okay. If I'm off the liquor, I can make four songs in in two hours. Okay, okay, okay. If I'm not off the liquor, it'll take me two hours to All make right, songs. Understood. Okay. So my, this is how I work. If I'm just vibing, you know, I feel like I want to go to the studio, chill, and write a song in the studio, I could sit down for an hour, I could write a song in an hour, and I could record the next hour. Right. If I already know the song, mm. I already wrote it from... De hace tiempo yo le escribí, ya yo me la sé. Yo me siento en el estudio, yo en 20, 30 minutos yo te grabo una canción. So, all your songs are yours? All my songs is mine. Would you, would you interpret someone else's song? I would, but I haven't had the opportunity okay, to, okay. but I'd love to. Because you know, once you, cause you're moving fast, again, and once you start moving up those stairs, eventually, um, you know, those kind of big deals, they'll be like, hey, this is song, you, you can rap it. But yeah. um, it sounds like you, you don't need that. No, 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 <laughs> not, not at the moment. You don't need that. <laughs> never say never, but not at the moment. Any any, any um, people that you aspire to, to do music with, um, 
as far as like in the future. I know we all at some point we all are all artists, but is there like this one artist like you're like you know when I would like maybe one day in the future. Um, in the future, Dali. Oh, that's that's <laughs> that's respect right there. That's respect. You, you see, it. bro. At the end of the day, nigga, like nigga, the niggas is humble. Niggas respect mm -hmm. You see, for with Dali. So, so have you have, have you guys formally reached out? To see if you can work. We haven't spoke about that. No, no more. No more. Tenido flow. la oportunidad yeah. de hablar de música yet, yeah, okay. but that's the flow. One day it will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the flow. Soon. Is there anything you want to do in terms of, of like community, if that uh, politics? Is there anything that, like that? Boo -boo likes besides music, which you watch sports. You know, I was a I was a baseball fan. Baseball. But, um, oh, you still watch it or? I watch it. I watch the finals. I watch oh, the playoffs, yeah. Uh, yeah, the championship. Yeah. I don't watch the whole season. Bro, you know? the Nationals won this weekend. I was not expecting that. Okay, I didn't even know that. I period. was not expecting that. I didn't <laughs> even watch the I championship. I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> I didn't even know what was going on. Wait, ten mucho que no vas a tomar. Four years. Four years. Four years. I'm going to. Okay. Okay. La botella de agua. Te dijo. El factor de agua. ¿Dónde queda agua? María Trinidad Sánchez, cerca de Samaná, Cabrera. Para el norte. ¿Cómo para el norte? Nordeste, o sea. Para allá. Yeah. ¿Cómo fue you know, Samaná es the little. Uh, yeah, yeah. Little yeah, that pokes yeah. out, so I'm yeah. right next, basically next to it. ¿Both parents are from there? Or just... mi, papá del, mi papá nació en el pozo. En un campito de allá de Nagua. Oh, oh, so los dos son de. En la factoría del pozo, y mi mamá es de la Vega. Okay, so mamá. But they met here in the Heights. Todo. How can I explain you? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a hot song. It's a hot song. Which song is that? Um, uh, per Percocet. Percocet? Yeah, yeah. It's a hot song. The bars are phenomenal. But I'm from the streets, you know, yeah. and, and I pick up. It's, it seems like, I don't know, this new click in town, <laughs> seven trees. Are we, are we cool with them? Is it the Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, baby. I plead yeah, the fifth, man. No, okay, okay, okay. No, that's fair. That's the that's first. That's Next that's, question. That's fair. That's fair. No, that's the first one. But that song does sound fire. And uh, yeah, man. You, you, you're, a prominent, you're a prominent player. A prominent player who we think um, has a bright future. And you have the, the, the skills and the team. If everything is in play. I don't, I don't see why... Um, Anything else would be either. Freestyle? You freestyle? Any chance? I We've do. never done a freestyle. I do freestyle, bro. You can, can you, you mind, like, listen, it, my, only if you're my, okay with it. I know peer pressure. I hear a B, yeah. Oh, Siggy. Siggy. Yeah. Okay, so we got a boy Boo Boo. He's gonna drop a freestyle for us. <laughs> Let's get it. You really want me to do this? Yeah, let's get it, man. You got your boy Boo Boo. Okay, so you got two cameras. Here, He's just it. Yo. Let's get it. Ha. Yo soy la pampa, la mami frena mi besame como si no cantara. Bájame dos gatas de televisión, bájame también y alcántara. A tu chori le encanta como me le muevo la leche, mi huevo le encantará. Si le rompo su culo, se queda conmigo y contigo yo no sé qué pasará. Diablo dora, 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 tu una sicaria, una rapadora. Te traga mi huevo, pero no te atora. Compré una roleta para darte la hora. A ti te encantan tal jetero, pero yo no brego con cuero. Me gustan las gatas que claven la tola cuando se me arma un huidero. Sacar los machetes y la tola, a tu bloque yo freno en pasola. Yo freno, me paro, la subo y disparo con un gatillo en la cola, yo soy la pámpara, yo soy la pámpara, a tu chori no le quiero meter mi huevo, yo sé que le encantará, me meto una perca y le rompo su culo y jamás se levantará, yo tengo mi cuarto y tengo un flow picante, tú tienes un flow lámpara, yo soy la pámpara, yo soy la pámpara, a tu chori no le quiero meter mi huevo, yo sé que le encantará, esa chori la para, le rompo su culo y le miro la cara, ya tiene el culo heavy como el llamara, si su jebo frena aquí se le dispara, fresco cuando tú arrebatado, la nota me tiene toqueado, mi greti son total jetero, tú no te imaginas lo que me he buscado, rompiendo buzones soy duro, tengo dos menores rolando a lo puro, yo no soy Nicola Maduro, no rapo lo claro, me gusta meterlo a lo cool, me muevo más heavy la nota, la chori se mueve su chapa rebota, mientras la peluca yo fumando en notas, que se mueve heavy la maldita loca, yo soy la pámpara. Yo soy la pámpara, a tu chori no le quiero meter mi huevo, yo sé que le encantará. Me meto una perca y le rompo ese culo y jamás se levantará. 
Yo tengo mi cuarto y tengo un flow picante, tú tienes un flow lámpara. Yo soy la pámpara, yo soy la pámpara. A tu chori no le quiero meter mi huevo, yo sé que le encantará. Me meto una perco y le rompo ese culo y jamás se levantará. Yo tengo mi cuarto y tengo un flow picante y ya. Te voy a dar una beca que te deja seca, pila de cotorra, yo no monto feca, gretí de la yeca con el flow bateca, rapando francheca que se puso freca en la discoteca con cuatro muñecos, un belsomio vale cuatro kilos de manteca, cuidado si te chueco, una juca de greca, la glota reseca, hoy yo ando de peca, prende el Ferrari, que tengo tres pares, rolame la mar y llámame da mari, que cuando está horny me dice daddy, prendeme dos gol, cuatro ginarias, sati pecara, su flow queda para, la larga de amara, su jevo se azar, tu vaina Gucci también de Sara, yo vine picante como lo mara. Bugutari fa, me quité. So La Pampara, is, 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 that, uh, is that what's going to come next? That's coming next, that's, yeah. Ooh, that's ooh. That's so we got, a, we, got a, we got a performance right now. That You perform for us. No, no, Oh, no. we appreciate <laughs> you, bro. Gracias, man. Gracias, gracias. And, and you know, Bubu, we like to thank, again, uh, thank you, uh, Bubu35. Uh, thank your management. And thank your, your entire team uh, for making this possible. Uh... Again, like like me and Sicario always say, and like I always say in every show, and it's in the record, uh, we like to listen to what's new and, and the street, and we want to bring, the, bring them in and sit them down, and you were that person uh, that we thought uh, we needed to sit down with because we, we like your music, and, and we like your sound, and we think the people, our fan base, should hear you. And, and again, thank you, Woo. Uh, for coming out hey, you're today. welcome man your team man I appreciate the fact you guys chose me to be the one to be here today and vamos no, pa'lante no, manito no, no, gracias no, no no, no gracias no, gracias uh, gracias a usted I appreciate gracias you equipo. man and thank you everybody for tuning in uh, Late Night Session with BB episode number 4 follow me on Instagram booboo35 underscore you know the vibe already know booboo35 underscore BB Sounds Perfect. Coño, uh, gracias, manito.